Welcome to Modern Marketing Messages, the leading podcast discussing the latest and greatest in both online and offline marketing tactics, strategies, and trends. I'm your host, Taylor Karg, marketing content writer at AmericanEagle.com. Today, we're back with our one-on-one marketing expert interviews. I have here with me Carolyn Lutzel, digital marketing specialist and social team lead at AmericanEagle.com. Welcome, Carolyn. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm really excited to learn you know, more about you and your role here and just everything about your digital marketing expertise. Yeah, I'm excited to be back. <laughs> Um, Yeah, we actually had an episode not too long ago, probably right before Christmas, where Carolyn was on, and that one I think was Holiday Digital Marketing Tactics. Yes. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yes, yes. Welcome back. Okay, so let's get into your role. Can you kind of describe, you know, what your role is, how long you've been at AmericanEagle.com, and a little bit about, you know, your typical responsibilities? Yeah, so crazy enough, I started about two years ago now, so... I feel like time, time flies. Is when you're by. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I started here as a digital marketing specialist. Um, right away, I was helping support a couple different accounts from the social media side, um, which I really liked. That was what I had the most experience in for sure. Um, and then over the past two years, um, I've grown to get more experience in other digital marketing channels, um, Google ads like PPC, um, SEO, email marketing, um, and a little bit of like UX work too. So I definitely feel like I've grown a lot um, since I've been here. And I've also recently um, with my co-team lead, Vanessa, um, we are leading the social team. So um, that's been a lot of fun, um, helping develop different processes and just tactics for ways that we can help support our clients. Um, So that is my role basically at a glance. But um, it's really fun, and I feel like we've got such a great digital marketing team here, so it's just so fun to work with all of those people yeah. <laughs> um, and just be able to grow in your career every day. That's awesome, and we've had Vanessa on the podcast, too, before, and I know her a little bit outside of it, and is that you guys are such a dynamic duo. I love it <laughs> that you guys are the t- co-team leads together. I'm just curious, what were you doing before AmericanEagle.com? Like, what was your experience? So prior to coming to American Eagle, um, I was working with a nonprofit group um, and a brewery in Indianapolis. Whoa. (laughs) Um, So I was actually living in Indiana for a few years. Um, And part of that was like event management and also like a little bit of digital marketing. Um, But the event side was definitely the main focus. And as I was working there, I definitely like grew to really love the digital marketing aspect of Mm -hmm. my job, Mm -hmm. um, specifically with social media, both organic and paid. Um, so over those few years when I was working there, um, I grew to really just like have an appreciation more so for digital marketing and wanted to really just explore that. And then COVID hit and events were kind of canceled yeah. <laughs> for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, so that aspect of my job pretty much was gone. So it kind of like fit in nicely. And then um, while I was living there, um, my dad, who actually works at O'Hare, just like across oh, 294, no awesome. um, he kept hearing like the radio specials and just different promotions from Amer- American Eagle. And he's like, hey, there's some digital marketing roles available. Like, this might be a good fit. You could come <laughs> live at home for a yeah. little bit. <laughs> do you guys so, carpool? We do. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out really nicely. But yeah, funny enough, my dad was like, hey, you should look at this. Oh, <laughs> so awesome. Thanks, dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that uh, segues very nicely into my next question, which was what initially sparked your interest in digital marketing? You talked a little bit about your previous experience <laughs> at your role, kind of what was that path like? Um, so definitely like with my previous job that led me into really wanting to explore, you know, other channels within digital marketing as well. So I definitely um, was motivated to look into something a little bit more like solely digital marketing focused mm-hmm. after working there. Um, But I feel like in college, um, I had quite a few classes that were related to marketing. I majored in public relations. So a funny like transition into Uh digital marketing. But um, all of the classes that I took that were like kind of a hybrid of PR and marketing, um, I just like loved the marketing side of things. So as I was going through college, I definitely just like continued to have more of an appreciation for it and wanted to learn more about it. So yeah, that's awesome. And I feel like in this day and age, a lot of PR is kind of digital marketing because everything's online. Yeah. <laughs> you know, makes sense. So what kind of marketing experience and skills do you have that help you with your day-to-day job? Um, 
I feel like for me, having um, worked like internally before definitely helps me see things from the client's point of view um, because you have an understanding of, you know, things that they're dealing with and essentially their goals and objectives and how we can help meet those. Mm -hmm. Um, I would also say, you know, being very organized and being able to help like solve problems um, are some of like my skill sets. Um, So I feel like having those has helped me transition over to American Eagle really nicely. Um, And also like with social media, like everyone, you're you're always seeing new things on like your own like phone or different apps. So I feel like just it just caters very well to like having that like exposure to it just in your like daily life. Um, helps you kind of think of like fun and creative ideas while yeah. at work. <laughs> There's always new inspiration, I feel like, especially when you're working in social media, because, you know, when we go home, we are definitely scrolling on our social media yeah. for far too long. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's It kind of, it can get addicting for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some notable marketing campaigns or projects that you've worked on during your time here? Oh, gosh. Um, there's been so many. <laughs> it's hard yeah, to I feel like, like just it. narrow down a yeah. few. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I really, I'm recently, um, been taking on as like the lead digital marketing role for Spring Green and Pet Butler. And I love our team. I love the client's team. Oh, fun. Um, so we're supporting like all paid media. So paid social Facebook ads. And then we are also running Google ads for them. Um, it's been quite a challenge since they have so many different franchises throughout the country. Um, having to take a very individualized approach at times with each of them. And what kind Um, of products are those? So they do like lawn care services, oh, okay. so lawn treatments on the spring green side. And then on the pet butler side, it's like poop scoop. Oh, <laughs> like oh, people oh, okay. come and like yeah. pick up the poop in your yard. <laughs> um, so pet we, butler, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even put that together. <laughs> um, yeah, it's they're so funny. And Lydia on the social team has been running their paid social ads and her ad copy is just so good. Oh, <laughs> I got to so check funny. it out. So, um, yeah, she's had quite a bit of fun with that. But that one has been probably the most fun one that I've worked on recently. Um, and then I love, you know, being on like the Keller Williams team, the Frontier Management team. We've got quite a bit of like really good like digital marketing teams on these accounts um, that I've been a part of. So mm-hmm. it's been a great like time just working with those that those team members um, and developing like a digital marketing strategy and taking into account all of the different um, DM channels that we're supporting. Yeah. And I know for um, Keller Williams and Frontier that you guys are doing a great job because I've written case studies on both of those <laughs> projects before. So <laughs> how, so how have your skills and responsibilities evolved over time? And you talked about, you know, starting at AmericanEagle.com as a digital marketing specialist. Now you've kind of evolved into a team lead. What was that process like? Yeah, so it's funny to like think about it all in like retrospect, but honestly, like it just kind of came about with the team structure almost a year ago now, um, where we've really like honed into these teams. Um, so starting out, um, we were all, you know, kind of specializing in like certain areas, or, you know, if you were just like a digital marketing specialist, you might have had experience in multi channel. Um, but to just make it so everyone kind of feels a little bit more supported and um, have different resources available. We've, you know, developed this team structure now and it seems to be working really well. So good. Awesome. So moving on, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, like the state of marketing today and your thoughts on all of that. So what are some of the biggest challenges, in your opinion, that marketers marketers are facing today? Um, I would say from like a technology standpoint and just like data privacy, I think that is something that everyone's kind of dealing with to some degree. Um, It's definitely a challenge from like the paid social side because there's been different updates from Meta and other um, platforms that have made it a little bit more challenging to understand the end consumer and what essentially the audience looks like. Mm Um, but there's, you know, different ways to overcome that. And we've really, you know, tried to leverage any like customer contact list and any data that they have about their audiences to really try and make it more of like a partnership and go after like a very targeted audience. Um, so that definitely has been challenging. Um, but I feel like there's definitely going to be solutions around that because it's something that like every marketer is facing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's not just like, just AmericanEagle.com and its um, clients. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's Google. It's Meta. Yeah. So they, they're having to comply with different rules and regulations. And if they want to stay in business, yeah, they're they'll have, have to, to figure, figure out. out. A, yep. Figure out a solution and we will follow suit. Yeah. <laughs> 
How have recent changes in technology and consumer behavior impacted marketing? Um, I, you know, there's so many different factors. I feel like it's hard to sometimes pinpoint what specifically is going on, especially since we service so many different industries. Yeah. Um, I have some that are like in real estate, some that are like in education, um, you know, lawn care, yeah. <laughs> poop scooping. <laughs> yeah. So it really is all across the board. Um, I'd say, you know, I guess back again to like data privacy. Yeah. I think that's something that definitely like impacts all of them. Obviously, there's changes that the government's making. Um, so it's things can change very quickly. Um, but those are probably more like the widespread things that impact all of them. Mm-hmm. And then obviously, like I know when COVID happened, that impacted pretty much every single industry to some degree, some for the better. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it definitely I feel like some people are still kind of facing some challenges left over from that. Um but it really just kind of depends on where they fall and what industry they're in. Yeah, absolutely. So what are some emerging trends in marketing that marketers should be paying attention to? And what are you excited about when it comes to these trends? Um, well, for social media specifically, I know, you know, TikTok is a big one now. Yes. It's a lot of what most people are talking about. Um, I think most brands and businesses can find a space on TikTok um, to leverage their brand. Um, have you read about what's currently going on with TikTok and the government? Yeah. <laughs> and do you guys have it? Do you guys talk about it like on the social team and the people who run TikTok? Are you guys like, oh, yeah, no. it is. You know, it'll be interesting to see what ends up getting decided about yeah. all of that. As I feel like right everything now, is just up in like, the air yeah. and it's just a lot of talk and not really, you know, a lot of like action behind things. So, yeah, it's definitely yeah. interesting. I mean, it's hard to know what will come out of it. Um but I feel like there are so many people that are benefiting, you know, yeah, both absolutely. financially and just with having their brand on TikTok. So um, I think there will be ways to continue to, like, move forward and grow on that channel. Um, I don't know if it'll necessarily ever go away, but I know that's something that people are discussing. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how it all unfolds. Especially because it is the number one, like, fastest growing social media platform. It's about to, you know, have the most users out of any social media platform. So it's wild that all of this is happening. It really is. (laughs) (laughs) So what are some marketing tools that you really like or that you find the most helpful in your job? Um, For me personally, I really love HubSpot, Sprout Social. Um, Those are some really good tools. Um, I'm in Smartsheet a lot, <laughs> um, building out different like content calendars yeah. and paid social calendars and all of that. So I feel like that is also a really helpful tool. Um, I use Google a thousand times a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that I feel like is also a really helpful tool. Um, just trying to get ideas, read different blogs. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm also on LinkedIn a lot, just seeing what other different like tools are like posting and sharing and kind of using that as a way to kind of get started into some different ideas. So yeah, absolutely. And I feel like previously, maybe like six months ago, I was not really very active on LinkedIn. And then I was like, oh, actually, there's a ton of great information. And then there's a lot of like content marketers Mm -hmm. and different thought leaders that are posting, you know, all of this stuff. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that. And then it's always like, oh, here's a list of resources you should follow on a daily basis. And then I'm like always signing up for different oh, yeah. email newsletters and all this stuff. I'm like, I swear half my inboxes are these email newsletters yep. now. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to the next section of questions. This one is advice for marketers. And so what advice would you give to someone who is interested in pursuing a career in digital marketing? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I would say if you know you're getting started, um, don't be afraid to like fail and, you know, realize that something isn't working. <laughs> um, I feel like a lot of what we do, like it's sometimes trial and error and just seeing what works. And especially if it's a new thing that you haven't done before, or the client's never done before, you don't necessarily know what the outcome of it is going to be. Um, but it's, you know, recognizing when it's not working and doing something to overcome that and figure out, you know, a solution to move forward. So, don't be afraid if it's not working, it's not the end of the world, but figure something out to try and overcome it and just continue to try and move forward that way. Yeah, absolutely. That's great advice. On our team, we always say like, you can't be afraid to try. Exactly. So, yeah. I love that. So what are some common mistakes that marketers make and how can they avoid them? Oh, um, 
it's a loaded question. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's it's a lot of coming up with like different ideas, and I think a lot of times you might get a little bit stuck maybe in doing something that has worked for you most times. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge to like figure out a new idea, um, but it's like those creative ideas and those things that are like so unique to like a brand I feel like always do really well so it's like figuring out like new ideas and like what would be like really exciting and unique to them Mm -hmm. um that's going to make them stand out so I guess don't get stuck in like your old routines and habits (laughs) yeah yes love that so I feel like we kind of already talked about this but I'm going to ask it anyway how can marketers stay up to date on the latest trends and best practices in marketing Oh, yeah. Well, I would say, like, definitely, like, find different, like, go on LinkedIn, find different, like, blogs, articles, newsletters. Um, I feel like there's also so many podcasts out there. I I don't know. I don't, like, habitually listen to a single, like, specific podcast regularly, but I feel like there's so many good, like, helpful ones for, like, if you're wanting to, like, get more familiar with, like, something specifically. Um, I mean, there's thousands of youtube videos too yeah, where people YouTube talk is about huge. different uh, Every tactics <laughs> yeah. so it's like if you're just not really sure where to get started like just start with like a simple search and like yeah. see where that takes you and like there might be you know one like resource that just continues to like provide you with a lot of good insights so um I, I feel like there's just so much so much information out there so it's like it's hard to like <laughs> sometimes to cipher, weed through it all yeah. mm-hmm. but um there's thousands of ideas and and places to get started so and you mentioned hubspot earlier i found that um the hubs hubspot has a subscription newsletter for like marketing specific trends they have one specifically for sales if that's what you're in so i've always found those to be really helpful they have so many great training courses yeah i feel like i've taken so many of those just to kind of get like a really nice like broken down explanation for something um especially with like Google Analytics 4. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. that's a big one. Um, so there's plenty of resources out there to kind of help walk you through, you know, things to try or like how to essentially get started on something that you've never done before. Yeah, that's great. So moving on to my last section of questions, and these are just, you know, some miscellaneous questions kind of about you and marketing. <laughs> what is your favorite marketing campaign of all time? Oh, my gosh. Very hard question. I feel like there's so many. <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't know. Um, I was trying to think of this on my car ride in this morning. I'm like, which ones have like really spoken to me? And I feel like this is so basic, but it comes to mind right away. It's just like oh, anything Nike ever does, like all of their commercials yeah. and all of that stuff. I'm like, why am I about to cry right now? Like watching this <laughs> Nike commercial. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I feel like there's so many good ones and like love a good funny one too. I feel like yeah. I'm blinking on like what's the specific ones. Right the now. marketing <laughs> came. Oh, well, Sonic. I feel like that one always sticks in my mind as like the ones that were super funny. And when they had those two guys doing them, oh and they would like sit in the car and then it would be like during their work hours and they would go to the Sonic drive through. Um, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of like social ads or something that I've seen that I really liked. I feel like McDonald's always has like cute little ones. Yeah. Like I love their billboards too. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> so not seen... necessarily digital marketing, yeah, but, but I feel like they just have such a strong brand presence yeah. that it's like, I just love like the creativity behind it. Um, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm blinking on so many, but like what I feel like I also really like not necessarily um, like campaigns, but I love SEM Rush's LinkedIn account. Oh, really? I gotta um, check it out. They have, like, the funniest memes, gifts, and, like, just, it's so spot on to, like, especially being in digital marketing. Yeah. So it really speaks to you. I love that account. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll um, check it out. That sounds yeah. awesome. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your career? Um, I think, you know, going back to, like, don't be afraid to, like, try. Don't be afraid to fail. Like, continue to try and, you know, make things better. Um, recognize when things aren't working and, like, figure out out a solution, um, work with your team to, you know, uncover something. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to just get started and learn something new. <laughs> yep, I agree. And what is the one thing most people don't know about you? Oh, oh my God. I know that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I would say, I mean, I carpool with my dad to work. I feel yeah. like that's a fun one. Um, I do love that. <laughs> yeah. 
love getting a ride to work every day. Yeah. Hey, less gas Don't money. Have to you got to deal with the stress of the traffic as much. Yeah, it is quite stressful <laughs> here in the Chicagoland area. Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't know if there's anything else that's like really fun. I'll have to think of that one. <laughs> hey, all good. The carpooling with dad is just fine. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today, Caroline. I had a great time getting to know you more, and I'm sure our audience will as well. Oh, thank you thanks. so much. That was fun. <laughs> great. Thank you for listening to Modern Marketing Messages. For more information about the topics discussed today, check out the description of this episode. If you like this episode, follow the podcast wherever you listen to them to stay up to date with us. While you're at it, give us a rating and share this podcast with others. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Modern Marketing Messages. This episode is brought to you by AmericanEagle.com Studios. I'm Taylor Karg, and I'll be back with another Modern Marketing Message.